am here live on the scene with my own Christmas tree, who is in fact a Christmas tree, even though he looks like a sad ghost. Honestly, it's not weird at all. I like it. You dress for the occasion. I'm just kind of a little terrified of what the occasion is. We're gonna ask it some questions today because Christmas, people want to know, giving him the cold, hard facts. Hardest facts. These facts are gonna be so difficult. You can't handle the truth. So when did you first realize that you are and potentially had always been a Christmas tree? Don't look too sad about it. I guess it could be worse. You could just be a friggin' tree. At least you're like a tree with a specific purpose. Word on the street is you're a Douglas fir. Can I call you Douglas or... I've never met a Douglas with fur before. I've ne Surprisingly, I've never met a furry Douglas in my day. You'll never even guess where I learned that term. Learned it at christmastree.christmas.chris. Everybody hates him, or so I've been told. You look really familiar. I just can't quite put my finger on it. I'm not even sure that I'd want to. Who knows where that thought has been? Could be filthy. I've had some filthy thoughts in my day. But I dye grass. Blue. I would dye the grass blue. What color would you dye the grass? If given the opportunity. So how do you feel about people using your name as kind of like a synonym for not giving a fuck? Like if someone's taking a test and they just put down random answers because they don't know it or they don't care, they call it Christmas treeing the test. You're a verb now. Good on you, buddy. I will have you know a percentage of professionals use rock band microphones. Listen, if you're not gonna cooperate, I will chuck you out of here like that. Like that. Did you see, did you see that? Very similar to that. I don't have to keep you until New Year's. New Year, new me. More like New Year, new tree. I will replace you in a heartbeat. Not that you would know anything about that. Freaking heartless. How lovely are your branches? I gotta ask, on like a scale of one to 10, 10 being the middlest. So really like a very indefinite scale. You honestly do kind of look like this fellow on my chest. Is that weird? I don't know, I'm just freaking saying. I'd wear you. How low can you go? I could go to Los. That's where I got you. I don't know if that's where you were born. You were kind of adopted. Hello, I'm a dog. Coming at you live. Sort of, except for the whole you being dead thing. I'm not back here, I'm sorry. I got lost in you and I guess the blinds as well. Didn't really see them there. So who's the blind one, really? Wait, I do know a Douglas. No, no, I mean, he's pretty much hairless. You do really look familiar though. Have I ever like worn you on my body? Like potentially on the chest area? It's been a pleasure speaking with you today. I learned a lot. I'd shake your hand, but you disgust me. No other reason. I don't know what this was. You know, I'm not gonna lie. You look like the kind of guy I would hang out with. I'm just kidding, you're dead to me and to most people.